Well, give me your thoughts uh, coming into sort of camp number six for you. And, yeah. You know, just sit out a couple, but <laughs> your thoughts coming into this one. Oh, man, just I'm blessed, you know, to have another year to be here. I, You know, luckily they, they gave me a hardship waiver, so that was really important to me. You know, I made the decision to come back. And honestly, just the mentality has been kind of the thing we've been working on the most, especially after last season and how we finished. We wanted to kind of, we, you know, we, everybody says get over the hump, but we don't believe in that because we've always had good players. We just needed, you know, to pull it together and, and to actually work towards one thing on the field. And so now we're just focusing on trying to get to that point where we can finish later in the season when we put ourselves in good a good position like we did last year. There's a lot of talk that this offensive line is the best that has been here under McIntyre. What makes you feel like this is the best offensive line you guys have had? You know, I, I, our coaches say this. If they don't tell you, they say this when in the line because we don't, we don't really care what people say. You know, I hate to say that, but at the end of the day, it matters what we do and what we think. And yeah, we think we're a good group, but you know, our attitude is, we need to get work in. Obviously, we got some seniors up front that, you know, I've got some accolades and stuff, but that, that doesn't matter because next year is a different year and our mentality has not changed as in we're going to run the ball a lot and we're going to be balanced and we're going to throw the ball. So as an offensive line, yeah, we've got some confidence that, you know, people have faith in us because it hasn't always been that way around here. But, you know, it was I think it was two or three years ago when I was starting as a sophomore and we were supposed to be the best offensive line, you know, in, in the last decade to come through here. And, and you know, we totally kind of just fell apart, you know, towards the end of the season. So, I mean, if you block out what other people are saying and you listen to your teammates and you put faith in your teammates, then you can start to believe in each other and actually have that attitude about being the best on the field or the best you want to be. So that's that's where we're at as an offensive line. Does it feel better, though, when you're in practice and you're next to these guys? Does it feel more cohesive and like this is a better group? Yes, it does. I mean, you know, we've bonded a lot. You know, I've been here for six years. I mean, I've known Jared since I got here in 2012. So I've definitely built relationships with a lot of these guys, Josh Kaiser, Dylan Middlemiss. Those guys have really showed up this spring, and I've gained a lot of respect for them. And, and honestly, you know, it's just, it's, it's really just, it's just a blessing for me to still be here. Honestly, I'm just kind of still in awe that I'm, <laughs> I'm still here in 2017. But, you know, we're, we're going for the same goals. We're, we're, we're cohesive. We're working together. We're trying to, to rally up and, and make a good run. Have you gained new perspective with that approach to it that you do have a sixth year here and that yeah, not a lot of people totally get new. That? Yeah, yeah, it's a very new because you know my brother he played five years and he actually just finished his career and he wanted to go professional but I don't, we're not sure if that's going to work out and it's just you know when you're done with football you don't you know it's hard because your whole life they tell you what to do they tell you where to be you're a football player and until that day stops you kind of don't have a good perspective and that that was kind of me last year you know am I, am I going to be done. And then, you know, it's this option of the six years. So, yeah, it's changed my perspective and, and definitely humbled me in, in how I can come every day and improve and, and what I've done in the past and what I need to improve on and the mistakes I've made. Do you still have that mindset that you don't care if you're guard tackle? You just want to oh, yeah, play it doesn't wherever. matter to me. Mm -hmm. Wherever my team needs me is wherever I'll be. You know, if my coach wants to play me at center, they're taking a snap at center. But, you know, I'll play it. It, it doesn't matter because as long as you can trust the guys around you and, and, and the five up front can be one, then it, it we're going to do what we need to do. Mm -hmm. Are there, are there some guys out here that are really kind of catching your eye? I mean, obviously, we can't watch practice. So are there any guys out here that are maybe newcomers that are saying that you're kind of saying, wow, okay, well, this guy can Yeah, play. I mean, honestly, I mean, the recruiting class, recruiting class we brought in has been magnificent. The guys work hard. They've got great attitudes. But as far as guys that haven't really been on the field that, you know, have been kind of working hard, you know, with the twos and threes lately that are now making strides to possibly taking reps this year, yeah, Josh Kaiser and Dylan Middlemiss are very, they've improved so much. And then our young guys, Will and Grant and Heston look great, you know, and we've got some receivers <clears throat> that look good. I mean, overall, you know, we're reloading. We're not, we're not taking these steps backwards. What makes a great offensive lineman to you? Everybody's one unit. So it's just like, if, if every, if all five of us were one person, we think alike, we do everything together, you know, because if the center makes the wrong call and we, we block the right call, so my guy, if one guy's wrong, it's a sack. So if we're all on the same page and we all have the same goals, that's probably the best you can get for an offensive line. You got to be cohesive and you have to be willing to sacrifice for the person next to you. And it also takes a lot of technique and time together. I've been playing with Jared for four years now. So I, well, you, go, you go into your defense, obviously. Who on that defense can get to the quarterback this year? Oof, all of them. Tim Coleman's been really impressive. He worked a couple moves on me today that he hasn't worked in the past. And they're, whenever I go up against guys in the Pac-12 that are top of the line, like, you know, 10, 10 15 sacks a year, that's what they're, the moves they're doing. And he's, he's really gotten better with his technique, and he's going to be doing real well this year. Anybody besides him? <sighs> yeah, I mean, Sprocko's a freshman. He came in, but he 
he's he's showing improvement on just the second day, working working second moves and stuff. You know, Chase Frankie's gotten better at pass rush. Uh, there's a lot of them. Lyle's gotten better. Pretty much all the D linemen like I saw last year with you know the guys up front, Tupo, Samson, and Jordan Carroll, the guys that someone that went to the NFL, is they made a jump from their junior year to their senior year technically in in, in counter moves and, and getting to the and getting to the quarterback. That's really important, especially with the three four defense. Yeah.